Hi guys, it's Troy at The Full Setup here, back with another technology rant today. And today I'm going to have a little rant about the AMD RX 480. So sort of how AMD are marketing the RX 480. And I'm buying one next week, so this is going to sound a little bit, you know, hypocritical. Um, I'm going to put it in this system over here, which I haven't shown yet. Oh, I've shown bits of it because you've seen the 880K build, but we'll get to that in a second. So basically, we've all got all these new graphics cards coming out, and we're having this massive generational leap yeah this big huge jump which is absolutely fantastic like it's great you know we're all getting so much better gpus than we are for last year so hurrah um and we're arguing over it like mad it's hilarious just watching everyone argue especially when they're arguing like a 480 versus a 1080 there's 300 pound price difference stop being a twat <laughs> how can you argue between the two of course the 1080 is better get over yourself right you don't need to argue about it done so my problem with the 480 is AMD has basically marketed it as it's VR to the masses. Virtual reality is going to get cheaper and you all need VR and whether you love it or you hate it, it's happening and we're getting VR and it's going to be affordable soon. But for the most of us, I'd say that probably the 90% of you, you're going to be using this GPU for gaming, right? We're using it for gaming, non-VR gaming, right? Just monitor gaming. So here's where the issue comes in now if you were building a gaming pc you sort of budget it don't you? you sort of plan what you want to do and i don't think a lot of people if you had the whole budget ready to go you've got all the money i'm not saying about you build it over a few months you've got all the money so if you were building a mid-range to high-end gaming pc you're going to be using an entry-level i5 probably up to some i7 right now with those systems, let's look at the last generation, would you have ever put a 380 with that? Not really. You're not going to, are you? There's no point. You're going to be looking at 1070s, you're going to be looking at 390s, that's where you're going to start. And then you're going to be more looking at, I really want to get someone like a 980 Ti or a Fury, right? That's where you're going to be looking at. But now we've got that performance from a graphics card that's less than £200, $199 in America. And that's absolutely fantastic. That's great. But still, again, if you had all that money to build a high-end gaming PC, are you going to buy an RX 480 or are you going to start with a 1070? Are you going to buy a 1080 once the prices drop and they stop ripping us off for them because they're sold out everywhere? But that's how you're going to do. That's how you sort of build. That's how you make your plan. Like You don't buy a Ferrari and put £20 tyres on it. You just don't do that. And it's sort of the same thing when building a PC. So now we're saying, what would you put on the last generation? What would you use a 380 or with me a 960? What would you pair that with? An 880K or an i3 or an entry level i5, say so 6400 or 6500. Maybe that's what you'd do. But really, we're saying i3s um, and AMD's quad core, six core range. That's what you're going to use it for. But, sorry, I completely balls that up. But yeah, that's what you'd use it for. You, that's where it'd be at. You'd never have put a 390, would you? You wouldn't have put a Fury. You wouldn't put that with an 880K. It, it's not going to bottleneck. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure it's not going to bottleneck. It won't bottleneck. Yes, you will get better, slightly better frames per second with an i5, maybe 5 or 10 frames per second more, but that doesn't mean it's bottlenecking. But you never would have done that. You never would have paired a 390 um, um, or a 980. You never would have done that. And that's where the same applies. So where I think the massive screw up here is processors. AMD, if you were going to give this whole game into the masses and putting your middle finger up to NVIDIA, why didn't you just release a few Zen CPUs with it? Why didn't you just release Zen? Because to actually build a gaming PC that takes, you know, that's going to really utilize that graphics card, the RX 480 isn't even a consideration. So I'm really looking forward to getting one next week can't wait to build on it and I'm rushing the end of this video because I can see one minute left on my camera but AMD I think you've really screwed up you should have brought Zen out at the same time get your shit together